You know what they say, when life throws you lemons, you can either go like that or you can make lemonade. So in these uh, very uncertain times, it's so important that if you're going to be working from home, for example, which I really hope you are, the message here is please don't waste this, I'm just going to say it, opportunity for you to learn something new, to get a new habit. Maybe this is in health, relationships, finances, uh, profession. You know, so when you go back, you'll learn more. I'm not saying have a, take a quick degree, although you could. Let's say if you're off for three months, is there some kind of a speed course that you could do in something? But So I really hope that you're going to take this time and use it to really thrive as opposed to just survive. That's the main message of this. Now, one of the ways to do that is to make sure that somebody that you trust is holding you accountable. So I mean that on a daily basis. And by the way, you could hold them accountable. So it could just be uh, somebody that you really admire. You don't really need to like them as long as you respect them, right? Just somebody else that you hold each other accountable. But what's important is that they hold you accountable. If they want to be held accountable, that's great. To do the things that you want to do during this time. I'm not talking about watching a, a record number of Netflix shows or films that you can watch. You know, I used to do that when I, when I went once a year to, um, to something called Making the Stage in, in Thailand. And uh, my record was seven films in one flight. The last two were speed watching. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doing the opposite, using this as a kind of a detox from all of these kind of things and actually seeing, you know, is there a new skill that you can learn? Is there uh, a new hobby that you can take up? Can you get fit in this time? Can you go out for runs which you never had time to do? Because there's no excuse now. There's no, it's not like you don't have the time. If we are self-isolating, which it looks like, you know, it's funny because the government said, you know, don't go to work. And then this morning they said, unless you have to. So it's like, okay. Um, but if you're going to be living from home, working from home, eating, doing everything from home, you're going to have to have some kind of a routine to get into. You're going to have to use your calendar. You're just going to have to do all of those things. But the main thing, in my opinion, is to, hold, is to get somebody to hold you accountable because you can have the best intentions in the world. You can write all these things down before you know it. You pick up your phone. There's one video, then another video, then, and then it's lunchtime. And then, oh, well, you know, it's the lunchtime, so I'll watch something else is to make sure you find somebody to hold you accountable to do the things that you're going to say uh, on that day. Now that could be that first thing in the morning, it could be lunchtime, it could be in the evening at the end of the day, it might be a mixture of all of those, but so that they, uh, almost like a coach if you like, a coach, but maybe they don't, maybe you don't want to pay them, so maybe you know, just say, listen, I just want you to coach me and I want you to give me a really hard time. I want you to, to make sure that they understand that they have your permission to really give you a hard time if you're not doing this, the things that you're going to say. Like we're self-isolating for three weeks. Do you know how quickly those three weeks are going to go? And then you could have gotten into a new habit of going to the gym or working out. I mean, personally, I have uh, Tom who comes on to Skype. So he doesn't have to travel, I don't have to travel, and I do it at home. Now, I had to buy certain things, I had to buy weights, I, need, I even had to, I can't believe I did this, um, Madrika is going to be really astonished, I had to do a DIY, build it yourself, um, what is it, kind of um, fold away, uh, what's it called, one of those things that, you know, so that I can do my push-ups, not push-ups, these aren't push-ups, well, a bench press, yeah, bench, you know, took me hours to do, because I'm not great at those things, but it was kind of fun to do it, I'm pretty proud that I did it. And uh, so, again, I hope you got the message. The main message is, who can hold you accountable? By the way, when there is a challenge in the world, it's normally not a what. That's not normally the answer. The answer is normally a who, because there's always somebody that's done it before. Who's done this thing before? Like, so for example, if right now your challenge is, oh, I'm gonna lose my job or something, so who's been through this? Or somebody who was about to lose their job and then they did something to make sure that they added so much value, they were being so creative in adding value to their boss that they didn't lose their job. Um, so it's normally a who. So find the best who to hold you accountable. By the way, don't just go, oh yeah, interesting video and make sure you hit the likes and, and the subscribe so we can keep sending you tips, techniques, golden nuggets for you to thrive during this time. But don't just do that. 
make sure that you take action on this. Who is the best person to hold you accountable in the next three weeks as we self-isolate? And it could be longer. So really use this sacred time. It's a real blessing for many of us. And listen, I, I don't know what you're going through. You know, I'm not trying to make light of it, but this could be a brilliant time for you to learn a new habit. Uh, and several new habits. Maybe it's going to bed early and waking up earlier so that you get into the habit of working out in the morning to set yourself up so you have fitness during the energy throughout the whole day so you can get 10 times more done. How about that? How about setting that as your intention uh, during the next three weeks to, to become the most effective person you can possibly be to be churning out work you know, either for your business or for your employer so that when you get back, there's no way they're going to fire you because you just say, listen, listen, just, you, you know, you're making a mistake because I've really spent time doing this and, you know, communicate with them so that they know what you are doing. So this is your real opportunity. I see this as an opportunity. Please see this as an opportunity. You might as well, half glass, half empty, you might as well see it as that, you know, and you know what they say when life throws you lemons, you can either go like that or you can make lemonade. So I hope you're going to make lemonade and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you get that next video.